This recipe is a result of me trying out tofu omelet recipes. When I tried this recipe from Claire's blog, Shay Cayenne, I was like, this tastes like quiche. So I tweaked it a little bit with Claire's help. I added my TVP sausage with a maple twist and I had my friend Kim at work taste test it for me and give me some tips. Thanks, Kim. So I really hope you like it. I think you will. You'll have to try it and tell me what you think. Prepare the TVP sausage first. Pour one cup of water in a pot, along with two tablespoons of soy sauce, one fourth cup maple syrup, and eight other spices and seasonings that you can get by clicking show more in the about section below. Stir it well, and once it starts boiling, stir it one more time, then remove it from the heat. Add one cup of textured vegetable protein, TVP, mix it well, and let it sit for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you'll see that it's absorbed everything. The next part is all done in a food processor. Add two 14 ounce blocks of tofu to the food processor, and blend it until it's relatively smooth. Then add two tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of mirin, which is a sweet rice wine, add three-fourths cup of all-purpose flour, one-fourth cup nutritional yeast flakes, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, and a half teaspoon of each of these, turmeric, black pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. Blend it all together. If you don't have a food processor, but you do have a blender, go ahead and blend the tofu in the blender, put it in a bowl, and add the other ingredients and stir it by hand. It should be just fine. Scoop it into a bowl and mix in the TVP sausage. Pour it into an oiled 10 inch pie dish or something similar, and bake it for 40 minutes on 400. You'll notice that it puffs up in the oven and then falls as it cools, so don't get worried if you see it do this. Let it cool for at least 15 minutes so it can firm up a bit before you cut it. I let mine cool for 30 minutes this time. I think this is a recipe that you should try. You could even leave out the sausage too, and it's really good. I, I swear it tastes like quiche. <laughs> it's a really good recipe that you can kind of use as a base and make it your own add whatever you want to it. I think it's, it's gonna be good. I can't wait for you to tell me what you added to yours in the comments. Thanks for watching Vegan Cooking with Love. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And don't forget to subscribe so you get my new videos. See you next time.